Today is day two in a series of videos all about HPV. Are you confused about what HPV is? What can happen to you if you catch it? How do you get it? What about the vaccine? Is it safe? You're not the only one that's confused. I'm doing a series of videos on HPV to help sort all this out. In video one, I answered what is HPV, how is it typed, and how do you get it? Today is video two in the series all about HPV. Today I'll answer, how do you know that you have HPV? When did I get it? And what are my risks? Hello, it's Dr. Kathy at your cervix here. If you've hung out at this channel, you'll know that I'm trying to make sense out of women's health care questions for you so that you can become a healthier you. All right, let's get into it. Question one, how do you know that you have HPV? Most people don't know that they are infected. If you contract the low-risk HPV, you may develop warts, and then you'll know that you're infected. But most people don't develop symptoms, and they don't have any problems from it, and so they don't realize that they have an infection. If you get your pap smear done, high-risk HPV testing is usually done at that time, and then you will find out. The only FDA approved HPV test currently available is only for testing for HPV infection of a woman's cervix. There is no FDA approved test for men or for testing of the mouth or the throat. HPV is a common infection. According to the CDC, about 80 million people in the US have it. And if you're like me, I didn't know what the population of the US was, so I had to look it up. And that's 326 million people. Question two, when did I get it? In a longitudinal study of HPV infecting young women who are students from the ages of 18 to 20 that developed genital warts, some appeared within two to three weeks while others didn't occur for several months or some for years. It's estimated that 70 to 90% of women with HPV infections will have spontaneous remission without treatment. So the answer isn't clear about how long have you had the infection for. Is it recent or did you develop it many years ago? So if you're trying to figure out what partner you got it from, that's not an easy thing to do because it may have been recent and it may have been from years ago. Question three, what are the risks to getting HPV? Having multiple sexual partners, early age of sexual activity, smoking, controversial about birth control pills if you're immunocompromised and damaged skin. Remember, HPV is passed through skin-to-skin -skin contact. There has been an upsurge in women over the age of 45 contracting HPV. What are those reasons? Some of it might be from new sexual activity as women are widowed or divorced. Your hormones are decreasing. The immune system goes down as we age. And if you've had a total of five or more sexual partners in a lifetime, we see recurrence after the age of 45. Now to the Hall of Hope. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what is important, capture the good times, develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, just take another shot. In the next video of this series, you're going to learn what cancers are caused by HPV. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with HPV, hit that big thumbs up button. If you'd like to hear more topics on women's health care or don't want to miss any of the videos in this series all about HPV, please hit the subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching.